Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for July. Hope you guys are all doing really well. I am gonna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Libra sign, so take what resonates for you. Simply leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so get in where you fit in. And as always, Libra, please do not try to force yourself into a reading that is just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Libra? Libra. All right, Libra, you are starting out with the Four of Wands reversed. You have the Four of Swords. And you have the Five of Pentacles reversed. So, Libra, I feel like you are healing right now. Um, there's an ending that has occurred here um, between you and somebody could have been the ending of a marriage or it could have been an ending of a long-term connection, but you're healing from this. Whatever this ending was left you feeling kind of unstable. There's some unstable energy and you're finding that stability again. I do feel like there's a lack of communication. Um, with the five of pentacles in the reverse, this tells me that at some point you felt very rejected or isolated um, from this person, left out in the cold, or perhaps you did that to them. But I am seeing that you you want a reconciliation with this person. Um, let me see the energy of the person in your energy. Show me the person in Libra's energy. You're definitely in a healing energy here. You may want to heal this connection, but you've been doing a lot of healing yourself as well. Show me the person in Libra's energy. All right, the person in your energy has a six of wands in the reverse, the empress, and the devil. Interesting that we have the devil and the empress. Now, those are not really compatible energies. So I will say that the person that's in your energy here um, and it could be two people in your energy because those are not compatible energies. I do feel like this person that is in your energy has felt a lack of success in this connection. Um, they're either viewing you as the empress or they're showing up here as the empress. There's something that is being birthed, though, in this person's energy. There's something that's being, um, that they're bringing to life in this, in their energy. I do feel like this is somebody who is extremely abundant, um, somebody who knows their self-worth, but they also are very well aware of their, of their shadow side. Um, they're very tempted towards you. Um, they could be viewing you as the devil, but I feel like this is somebody here that there could be two people in your energy here, Libra. Um, I am seeing that you definitely have somebody who knows their self-worth. They're extremely abundant. They're very nurturing, um, very loving energy. They don't chase, but they definitely have strong powers of manifestation here. So, and then you have somebody in your energy. For some of you, this is two people. Um, some of you have a second person that's in your energy that is very toxic. Somebody who, you know, it's like they try to appeal towards your shadow side. So a lot of you may have two people in your energy. For others of you, you have somebody who has basically, um, <laughs> they're very, very drawn towards you. There's a very strong attraction towards you. So let's see the energy between you and this person. Show me the energy between Libra and this person or people. <laughs> the moon. The moon. So, there's a secretive energy here. So, it could be that some of you have two people in your energy and they don't know about each other. I don't know who that's for, but that may be for somebody out there. Um, the energy between the, you and this person, um, the empress, um, they're feeling like things were not successful between the two of you. Um, they keep their feelings to themselves. They, there's an energy here of this being much bigger than what it appears to be on the surface. And it's like you're both acknowledging that. This would be somebody that you had an ending with. 
Yeah, this would be somebody you had an ending with. So let me see. But there's some secretive energy here too. It could be between you and, uh, for those of you that you, there are two people involved, it could be between you and this person that's toxic. So what's affecting the connection? We have the Four of Wands, or Five of Wands, I'm sorry, and the Knight of Swords Reverse. Interesting. So there was conflict between you and this Empress. There was conflict here, and this person is um, viewing you as being dishonest. Yeah, they're viewing you as being dishonest. You could be dealing with a Taurus or another Libra or a Capricorn. But I am seeing that there was definitely conflict here. And I do feel like you want to heal this. And this person in your energy, you know, they're they're kind of focused on their own prosperity here. They're angry about this conflict. Very interesting. Um, let me see the outcome. I feel like there's something that's trying to balance out here. Knight of Pentacles. Something is moving forward. Something is moving forward very slowly. Um, now, here's the deal. This person, for those of you only dealing with one person, this person is, you know, they, they may be waiting for an offer from you, an offer of reconciliation. I feel like if that's the case, you are moving in that direction, but very slowly. And this person feels that, you know, there's still some toxic energy that needs to be resolved. But yet, they feel a strong attraction to you. Now, for those of you that's dealing with two people, I do feel like you're moving towards this empress with this offer. You're moving very slowly, but be aware that if you have dealt in a secret connection with somebody who was very toxic that this person is moving towards you very slowly. So, take it as it resonates, guys. All right, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So, that's underlying energy. It's the energy of something that's gone on for a very long time. Both parties are, are very tired, are very worn out. It's almost like having your back up against the wall forever and a day and just being worn out, but yet wanting to resolve the conflicts and the problems. So let's see, I'm going to clarify, let's see why the Four of Wands is in reverse. Ace of Swords, Five of Wands reversed. Yeah, so you want to resolve conflict with this person. I can see that there's been conflict here. You want to resolve it. And you're going to communicate to this person. You've become very clear about what it is that you want with regard to this person. I don't feel like you have yet, though. It's like you haven't you haven't told this person that you want to resolve this yet. Why is this Four of Swords here? Queen of Swords reversed. You may wonder if this person is a karmic. Um, and the Four of Swords in the upright. So... You've been angry with this person, with this empress. You've been angry with their, them. Um, I, I can see that you were angry with each other. So you were both angry. There was this big conflict between the two of you. Um, somebody was standing in their pride. You've done a lot of healing though, Libra. And now you're getting ready to communicate with this person. I'm seeing two cards of communication. So... Let me see why this Five of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse for Libra? Yeah, they make you happy. The sun, sign of Leo. And again, we have the Nine of Wands reverse. So you really do want to resolve things. You want a reconciliation because this person makes you happy. You're seeing more clearly than you have in the past. I feel like in the past, Libra, you felt burdened by a lot of these problems and you were tired. You were just tired of dealing with something. but And it, it resulted in a conflict, a really ugly conflict at that. And I do feel like you were both angry with one another, but now you're, you're all about resolving the conflict and you do want to try to resolve things and actually come back together with this person. 
Let me see their energy. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse? This person feels defeated in this connection. All right, we have the High Priestess in reverse and we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So they've been very sad too. They they actually, they felt extremely defeated with regard to love. They don't even trust their own intuition with regard to this connection right now. There's a sense here, an underlying sense that this is much bigger than the surface, but yet neither of you are discussing that with each other. And I do feel like this person, they just feel defeated in love. Emotionally, they're not happy with how things turned out between the two of you. Um, why is the Empress here? Two of Cups, Soulmate, Sign of Gemini. We have Scorpio and the Devil in Reverse. So this person does have a lot of love for you, but they're angry because they do view you as having some toxic behaviors. Um, I do feel like, Libra, they they feel that you're the one that's at fault for what occurred in this conflict. They, they also feel like maybe you weren't being honest with them. You weren't being truthful with them. And that's blocked the connection. The toxic energy here has blocked the connection. So this person is pulled back. And even though they're not happy about it, they're kind of doing them. them. They're, they're taking care of their own prosperity. They're, this is somebody who is very well aware of their self-worth. And it's like they've, they've changed the focus over to just, you know, bringing in their own manifestations. They're not willing to deal with any kind of toxic energy. Yeah, they're definitely not willing to deal with toxic energy. And there's an indication that they feel that you've been dishonest and that you've been toxic. And I'm not saying you have. I'm just saying that's how they're viewing you. It's, it, they've been very unhappy. There's a lot of hidden things in this connection. There's a lot of secrets here. And this is what's making them feel that, that you're dishonest. Um, and if they did know about, for those of you that there's three people involved, if they did know about this other person that is, you know, toxic, I feel like um, they believe that that's either over or they, they, may, they may wonder if you're telling them that it's over and it's not. Let me see that why the devil is here. Show me the devil. Why is the devil here? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person thinks you're a player. This person thinks that you're a player um, and they're, they've walked away from any kind of toxic energy. See, they, they're not willing to have that. This is somebody who values themselves more than that. And again, Libra, I'm not saying that you are. I'm saying that this person is viewing you that way. Um, so for those of you that there's another party involved, this person, this empress is aware of this other connection, the, this toxic connection. And this is why they've moved away from, from, from you because they feel like you've been a player. Let me see why the moon is here. That's what ended this connection for those of you that there's third party. Now, for some of you, it, it doesn't have to do with, um, a third party, well, not a person is a third party. For some of you, it's just toxic behavior. But regardless, this person is seeing you as a player. All right, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Fool in Reverse. Okay, so secrets, there were secrets. Queen of Wands is a secret. That's a secret person. It's a third party. Um, I feel like... Uh, so some of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or they have those one of those signs strongly in their chart. Whatever the secrets are, this person now knows the secret, at least some of them. I feel like there's still more secrets, and this person is afraid to take a new beginning, to take a leap of faith with you because of all the secrets. I feel like you're going to be bringing clarification into this, though, Libra. I do. And I feel like you have a lot of passion towards this person that you you 
have kind of kept quiet. You haven't really told them. This would be somebody that you had an ending with. Um, let me see what's affecting the connection. Tell me what's affecting this connection for Libra and this person. All right, we have the Page of Wands, King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and the Four of Wands. Oh, this person wants to marry you, Libra. Yeah, they want to marry you. They actually love you very deeply, but they're just not willing to deal with toxic behavior. Yeah, so basically this person's afraid to come back into this connection because of secrets and and they fear that there's more secrets to be had. You love this person as well. And you actually want to heal this connection. Um, I, I definitely feel that you're going to be the one approaching them with this page of wands here. I feel like it's going to start very slowly. Um, the communication will start slowly, but that's what you're going to do you're going to try to bring clarification here. And I feel like you, you, maybe you don't know if this person is still actually interested in you or not. If you, um, finding out that they are, that they have these deep feelings for you is going to be good news for you. But I feel like you want to heal this connection. You were both angry with each other. There was definitely an imbalance in this connection. Um, let me see why the, let me look at the outcome. Show me the outcome. Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands reversed, and the Emperor. Yeah, so you're moving forward to slowly resolve the, the conflict here. Um, you're bringing truth to the situation. You're seeing things differently. Now you want to resolve this. You want to reconcile with this person. So I definitely feel like your intentions are good. Be careful with your words, Libra, because um, Knight of Swords can sometimes be very sharp in the way they deliver things. But I do feel like you, your hope is to resolve this connection. You felt hopeless in, about this in the past. There's been a sense of powerlessness. But I see you moving forward in spite of that, primarily with communication. And it does look like you're truthfully communicating. This person in your energy, they, they view you as being their their other, their significant other, their um, divine partner, actually. And the two of you are in the upright. We have the emperor and the empress both in the upright. Now, it could be that this person has just balanced out their masculine and feminine energies, but this person is viewing you as being the emperor. And so they're hoping that you have taken charge of, because they've been feeling powerless as well. So they're, they're waiting to see if you've walked away from reckless behavior, from toxic behavior or a toxic person. If you've taken charge of your life and you're now, you know, moving, moving up in your energy so that the two of you are more compatible because this person wants to marry you. They... We've got the Emperor, the Empress, and the Four of Wands. I mean, that's all of that's Twin Flame energy as well, the 1111 card. So this person definitely believes that the two of you are divine partners. But if there's still any toxic energy in this connection, you know, any player type energy, they're going to walk away from it nevertheless. So, and I feel like you are coming towards them, but you're moving very, very slowly. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower card in reverse. So there was a tower moment here, and I do feel like you're you're wanting to rebuild this with this person. This has been something that has been going on for quite some time with the nine of wands reverse. I don't think this is a new situation. This is something that has been developing over quite a period of time. So... There is a desire to heal this. I do feel like the person in your energy is receptive to healing this, but they're not going to be dealing with anything that is a lower vibrational energy. All right, so let's let's see if there's any oracles for you. Pulling for the sign of Libra. Now, guys, if your energy was switched, go ahead and just get in where you fit in. I don't 
let that deter you. Okay, so we have bankrupt. So somebody could be having financial issues. It would not be the person that is in your energy, Libra. So you may be having, because they're sitting in the Empress energy. They're, they're prosperous. Um, I do feel like uh, some of you out there could be dealing with some financial issues. I didn't find it as much in the cards, but with this, this card showing up, you want to be careful with that. And it could be a message for just a few of you as well. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Libra. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.